It's my feel good breakfast show. But listen, uh, of course, it is the winter holidays right now, which can sometimes go underutilized, not only because of the cold temperatures that keep us all indoors, but especially for the, all those kids living in the big cities where there's not really much to do. But we asked Tenji to visit a fishing camp in the Val River that promises to take kids in, into the outdoors and also show them a pretty good time. School holidays give parents the perfect opportunity to get their young ones outdoors and ignite their imaginations. For children who live in the big city, an adventure awaits on the banks of the Val River. Who says us Joburgers don't get our fair share of wildlife? After just an easy two-hour drive, I've already taken in some spectacular scenery. But what I'm really looking forward to is spending some quality time with some of my younger friends and getting to learn a new skill. Spanning over a thousand kilometers in length, it's no surprise that fishing is a favorite pastime for Fall Riverside dwellers. Kids Fishing Camp, founded by Aldo and Manuela Condito, gives children the opportunity to garner the skill. It's so hectic out in Johannesburg. Children go on school holidays, they don't know what to do. And so I believe in taking kids away from town. The kids get to come out into nature. They are taught how to fish. They, they can do canoeing, play table tennis. We've also got to talk the lantern in the evenings where they hide away, and so they have lots of fun. The camp is a catch and release site, which ensures that the food supply for surrounding natural life is not disturbed. Children are taught to respect the environment and sharpen their balance, coordination, focus and fortitude. The skill of fishing depends on a whole lot of things. You teach them how to be patient, you teach them how to observe. They must know the wind direction, the season, the depth of the water, the strength of the current, the bait they are going to use, and especially the fish they are going to target. And what are the specific skills we learned here today? This morning when the kids arrived, we had an introduction to the basic safety rules of taking care of your equipment, the sharpness of the hooks, then we teach them how to build a strop, how to link a hook to a hook link line, how to put on your bait. The moment they get down the stairs, get to the water edge, they have the basic knowledge of what to do and how to do it safely. Tanji, first mm -hmm. thing, you got the rod on control with your left hand. Mm -hmm. First you use your index finger to take the line. Okay. Press the line against the rod, now you open the bale, make sure the bale is kicked over. That's correct, now you take control with your rod with your left hand again at the bottom. Look at your target, lift your rod slowly above your head. That's fine, looks pretty good. Excellent! Woo Very good! While Tenji's casting skills were impressive, her younger peers saw more success as fish came biting. It's all about patience. To relax, campers can pass the time by playing and bonding or getting closer to the water. The best part about a trip like this is not only the opportunity to get to learn a new skill, but because the cell phone network is so scarce out here, the young ones can disconnect from the World Wide Web and reconnect with the beauty of nature. I keep coming out here because it's fun. The coaches are laid back. It's relaxing. It's beautiful scenery. The fishing's always good, even during winter, and uh, it's just always fun. It's just breathtaking the views and seeing the new animals and all the things you can learn and see here. My favorite part of today was catching a big fish. Booking kids fishing camp online is a breeze, and with a service which picks up campers from Joburg and brings them to this recreational haven, your children will be happy to report that they've gone fishing.